Coach Hugo, the draw just took place. What are your thoughts on the draw and our group? Honestly, I'm uh, not really unhappy <laughs> when you see uh, the teams you were represented. Um, I think with Mali, for sure, we have uh, a very big team. Um, at the other side, Tunisia also, but uh, I prefer to have Tunisia than Senegal or, uh, or Cote d'Ivoire. Um, so that's also good. And then Abibia, we know. So I think, I think, when we can uh, achieve our level, our best level, that we can go through the uh, group stages. A lot of the media asked you today about the readiness of your team. Do you think you can prepare even better now for an AFCON, knowing exactly uh, in which group you're in? Yes, it, as, you, as you know, the, 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 the preparation for the moment is a little bit uh, disturbed by, by injuries. But we have still three months, so um, I'm don't panic for the moment. Certainly not. Um, I hope that we can recuperate all those players who were injured the last two months, and then uh, working to uh, to uh, to Afcon. First of all, the qualifiers. So um, and then working to Afcon. So uh, there is nothing nothing bad for the moment. But let's hope that uh, the injuries stop now and that we really can start uh, to prepare the, the, uh, the team. Secretly, were you hoping for a particular type of draw today? Perhaps, um, you know, landing up in a group with uh, certain countries? I'm sure in the back of your mind you were thinking, if only it could perhaps go this way or that. You know, when you're in Potri, you, you don't have to hope much <laughs> because you're always... Uh, two big teams in your group. So, uh, but when you see now with Tunisia, uh, it's certainly a, a very big uh, team also, but, but it's, it's a little bit less than, uh, than Morocco or, than, uh, or, or uh, Senegal or the host, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. So from that side, we are doing, I think, a, a, good, a good thing. Mali, the same, is not really, really the big top. Uh, but again, it, it, it will be tough. Uh, there are two, two good, um, good teams and to be direct qualified, uh, you have to, to beat them both, maybe. Um, so we will see. Um, I'm, I'm rather happy with, uh, with the draw. Um, it, could be very, it could be worse. Coach travelling to Côte d'Ivoire on Saturday to play Côte d'Ivoire in Abidjan, I think perhaps a good precursor to an AFCON which is a mere couple of months away. Yes, um, I, for us I think it's a, it's a very good game. Um, um, we will be confronted with, uh, with one of the best teams of Africa for the moment, certainly because they are host. Uh, you know, uh, when you are host for AFCON, yes, you're, you're always, if you go always very far in the competition. Uh, and secondly, uh, we will play for a full stadium. Uh, I think it's several years ago that uh, South Africa plays for 30, 40,000 people. So that will be the case next week, uh, Tuesday against Cote d'Ivoire. So that will be a good experience for us also. Because when you play AFCON, you play always for a full stadium. So uh, again, again, I'm very happy with, uh, with the friendlies of, of next Tuesday and also very happy that we are not in the group of, uh, of Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> Coach, thank you so much.